Hey, this is Christopher Sancho SQL, and if you've ever thought there's a better way to combine columns together, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna use the pizza database. Details on how to get it are in the comments. And when I run the pizza database on the employee table, you can see I got first and last name, and my goal is gonna to be to create a full name out of that. Now, in the old school days, of doing that I would have combined these together using a query where I would just say first name plus a space plus last name to make full names when I run this you can see I get the full name with the first and last name fair enough all right so the cool thing I learned is is there's this thing called concatenate or it's concat in SQL what I can do is run this command and I can put the pieces that I want to put together as an expression. All right, so this this helps. Now, this isn't too much different than my command before in terms of complexity. In fact, let me put the other one up here so you can see what's going on. So I have the first command, second, um, and what this does is essentially strings the pieces together and makes the final um, result, which is full name. I can go one step further and use a newer function called concatenate ws where you give the separator and then um, the parameters after the separator are the things that you want to put together and it puts the separator between each one and I could have more than one of these and I'll show you that in a second so when I run this command the concatenate ws I get the same thing so okay what gives so far everything looks to sit you know pretty much the same there's not a lot of complexity um, I think everybody would agree that as um, I, if I had to like go past full name and I was maybe stringing together you know five ten different fields this would get cumbersome right you know and then even this would get cumbersome and this one would be kind of cool because I could just do you know essentially here if I had fields a b c d I could just do a b C, D, and now they're just getting strung together and I don't have to worry about what separates them and all that jazz because that's just been specified up front. Fair enough. Okay, but I want to show you the real secret sauce of these and that is when you have to deal with null values. So let's talk about our first command, right? So let's assume that we have a null in one of our fields so what we're our goal here is we want to essentially create a first name and I'm, I'm kind of constructing this um, so for our example so it'll be like Noah Washington and then there's gonna be a null in here right and then um, the value a so the the result we want is really to be Noah Washington a right so this is what my desired result is for this first row so let's try running this and see what happens let's see if I can get that result I don't why is that well it's because of this null value right you know as you probably figured out when you play with nulls is they're like poison once you put them into an expression they just basically I guess the best word to use is nullify the expression. So anything they touch basically goes right down the null. So how do you deal with that? Well, if you want to deal with this on every field and protect yourself from null and not have extra spaces, you really need to work through every one of these fields to protect it. And it actually becomes pretty complicated. And let me show you what that query looks like, because it's pretty crazy. Yeah. I used case statements to do it, but really what I'm doing here is I'm testing for um, each individual element that we're trying to string together, and I'm, I'm testing it for null, and I'm saying, hey, if first name is null, then just return an empty string. Otherwise, return the first name plus um, the thing that will be used to um, delimit the next field. So here we got first name and then the delimiter afterwards, and then move on through until we finally add the A, okay? So when I do this and run it, you can see now I get Noah Washington A, um, Siam Sawyer A, and so on. So this actually took a lot of coding. So 
boo on this. I don't want to use that to, to, if I had to do like 20 of them. Yikes. So what would it look like if I used the concat function? Can I get around this with concat? So let me pull in um, concat and see what it would look like. So here I got first name, space, last name, space, null. So concat is, you know, looks a little nicer. Does it protect me from the issue? It does, but if you look closely, what you're going to find in here is it does get rid of the null. So we do not totally blow up and lose our string. But notice that if you look carefully, you're going to see two spaces in here where it picked up the two delimiters from before the null and after the null. And um, that's not something we want to do, right? So what we can do instead is use um, the concat with space or with separator, I think that's what the WS stands for, function right here. And this one's like super cool because notice now what I have is I, I said, yo, I want to um, create a um, full name. Let's put full name on here. And it's really going to be the first name, the last name, this other value, which I'm right now just pretending is getting forced to null, and then the value A. And what's going to happen? And oh, by the way, separate it all with a space. So let's see what happens when I run this. When I run this, notice it's like, ta-da, it comes out Noah Washington A. So concat with separator takes care of all those cases. So now ask yourself, which is the one that you'd want to use going forward? Do you want to go old school and then old school with a case statement to deal with nulls? Or do you want to use the new function that's concatenate with space? Me, now that I'm, you know, teach the old dog learning a new trick, I'm using concatenate with separator. So hopefully you've learned something like I did. Maybe you're already on the new school and already knew this, and you're like, what the heck are you talking about? I already knew this like five years ago. I just learned about it in the last couple of months. I'm hoping to share this with you, and have a great day.